What's going on, guys? Your boy Humble Warrior checking in with you. Um, quick overview today: Dolphins did lose the game. Uh, final score: four to seventeen. Um, the rushing attack of the Jets is ridiculous. I think they probably racked up over two hundred yards on the ground. Uh, Zach Wilson had a productive day. Uh, Bryce Hall, um, that boy was he was incredible. A lot of a lot of missed tackles. That's, that's another thing. I'm, I'm going to just say this real quick because I don't want it to be short. A lot, a lot of broken tackles on defense. I don't know what the hell. They play defense that where you can't make tackles. I don't know. I don't know. It was once 17-19 going into the fourth quarter. Next thing they know, they outscored our, our asses with 29-0 to, to zero basically. 29 to nothing. That was 19, so it was 21 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Three rushing touchdowns. A fumble from from Skyler Thompson. And I don't want to hear nobody know he's a rookie. Because to me, people here and all Dolphin Nation crying about the boy. Crying about him. Put him in there. Put him in there. He, he'll do better than Teddy. Put him in there. Put him in there. And what did he do? What did he do? Two fumbles. And a pick. Two other possible picks. But people want to beat up two about this. This ain't about no damn two. Two went out the other day. It's about Skyler. Now, you can watch the film, but I don't think he's going to get another shot because this offense was tailor-made for two of about Lua, and you see how proficient he is in running it. There's no more debating about who's the quarterback for the Dolphins. There's no more debating. It isn't. Now, if you want to be ignorant as a fan and go ahead and keep thinking this, put out this notion that Tyler should start and play, and waste the rest of the season away? No, that makes no sense. Because your offense is tailor made for Tua to win right now. Why would you put out a rookie out there for the rest of these, what, 13, 12, 13 games, and you possibly might win four of them? What sense does that make? People in their logic up here kills me. The defense is, is straight up garbage. Garbage. They can't tackle, they can't cover. They can't seem to read offenses no more. If they do provide pressure, the corners on the islands ain't worth a damn. So the, the quarterback is out there just eating people up. Any quarterback that goes against Miami defense is going to look like a pro bowler. Hence Zach Wilson. Hence last week, Joe Burrow looked like he was back in his old form. Even though we kept him in check for almost three quarters. And then when two went down, it was like the air got sucked out the building. Oh yeah, by the way, Tua's actually doing a lot better. They said his um his x-rays came back clear, so he should be able to go next week against the Vikings. But this is this is a warning shot. We look that bad. He it literally got to the point where they were just running the ball. Which our running our rushing attack finally came to like over hundred and I think fifty yards today. Um Raheem Moister uh Moster, he led the way. He had over 120 yards rushing and a touchdown. But outside of that, Miami is garbage right now. The garbage. I know they're three and two, <coughs> and they're still right behind Buffalo in the division, followed by the Jets, followed by the, the Patriots. But it's just in the message today. They got you, and they're not. They're they're going balls to the wall. They're trying to get into the postseason. Do I think they're gonna make it? No, because I still think they're gonna lose some games. That's going to be, be due to their experience. But today, they beat the stuffing out of the Dolphins. Now, yes, it's attributed because of injuries and Tua wasn't there. We had Schuyler. Um, we had, um, what's the name? Armstead went down with an injury. However, defensively, the game comes down to simple plays, tackling, coverages, knowing how to fight for the ball properly. Knowing how not to give us so much leverage on certain routes so that way the guy's not wide open when he's catching the ball. You mind down there? Well, that defensive coordinator to be fired. He's going to keep it a buck. He needs to be fired. Because there's no way that you're giving up easy plays, easy stuff. First and second down runs go first down. Because people can't seem to tackle a running back, they're too busy trying to pop the ball out of his arm. So because of that, he's running up the field. 
the big chunk play he got the 79 yard reception had eric Rowe paid attention to, to bryce hall that completion doesn't happen but because he was too busy staring at zach wilson man got right behind him he threw it in stride he ran in the field the rookie number 28 has no common sense but to get drugs to the one yard line when all you do is tackle a man i know he's a big man but he'll bring him to the ground cut his legs out from underneath him he has no momentum he can't drag you to the one yard line like you're his child so i got a question for mike mcdaniel are you really gonna fire the dc or are you gonna let this drag out all year because if you continue to go this route in the playoffs you will be eliminated once you make postseason you're gonna get eliminated because teams are gonna eat up your defense and they're gonna find a way to neutralize Tua. So then what? If, it's, if it's, when the Dolphins get this first round pick, damn a quarterback, defense is what you need to be focusing on. You need another corner. You need a better, much more experienced line because Christian Wilkins is your only shot. And you need somebody outside of Javon Holland that can actually make plays. Cause Javon Holland, like he's a rookie himself out there. I don't know what he was out there doing, but it wasn't no football. So maybe this is a wake-up call. Maybe we need to get punched in the mouth, and we got KO today. I'm still screaming fins up for life, but this is this is a little knockout blow by the Jets. Thank you, Jess, for the ass whooping. Appreciate it. I'm a man. I can take it. But at the same time, we owe y'all this year. Remember that. You coming down to South Beach last game of the year. We owe you. By then, we should be securing the playoff seed, but we still owe you that ass whooping. So be standing by for it. But we got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. On that note, guys, I'm going to watch this uh, Dolphins-Rams game, but that game is pathetic. I'm just looking forward to Doug's video. That's all I'm looking forward to now. I just want to see what he got to say. Peace.